Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and today I'm here to do a contest entry for Vinyl City or George. Um, George, hey, how's it going? Congratulations on 50 subscribers. Certainly well deserved and um, I can definitely see your channel growing in the future because I personally think your content's really, really good. I enjoy what you have to say about the music that you show within your videos, um, you keep it real, you're upfront and honest, which uh, is pretty important to me, so uh, yeah, keep making the great content, and uh, once again, a big congratulations on 50 subscribers. Now before I get into the um, actual contest portion of this video, uh, George, thank you for being a little bit lenient um, for one of the uh, questions. I do appreciate it. Um, being fairly new to the VC and being fairly new to um, a lot of bands and music collecting in general, a lot of these contest questions are kicking my ass and I'm kind of struggling a little bit to enter some of the contests. So uh, yeah, I do appreciate the, lenin the leniency um, in one of the questions, uh, which we will get to later on in the video. So um, yeah, I'm going to do my best here uh, with this entry though, so let's get started. Okay, so question number one is name a band that you used to listen to. Uh, you stopped listening to them for a while and you've only recently gotten back into them. Uh, this one was pretty easy for me and uh, I'm going to go with Queen. Um, I do apologize about the glare and this is the greatest hits. Um, volume 2 of Queen. Um, great bunch of songs on this. Now Queen was actually one of the very uh, first bands that I ever really got into back in the day. I used to listen to them all the time when I was a lot younger and then for quite a few years I just stopped listening to them and it's only recently that I've gotten back into listening to them. Um, especially in the car I've been listening to this quite a bit in the car when I'm going on trips or driving to work and stuff like that. Um, this has been playing quite a bit recently, so um, yeah, there's not much more to say about this band. Great band. Um, I just stopped listening to them for a while, um, got into other stuff, uh, but it's good to revisit Queen once again. So that's that for question one. Okay, and question two, and this is the question that I kind of struggled with a little bit, and uh, George, I do appreciate your flexibility on this one for me, so I am going to answer it the best that I can. So question two is, name an album that you are on the fence about. Now this was kind of tricky for me, um, because most of the time I listen to everything online before picking up albums, uh, just to make sure that I actually like them. So there's not really much in the way of albums I own that I'm kind of on the fence about. So I'm going to do my best to actually show something and then we're going to talk about another band in particular that I am on the fence about. So I'm going to show Metallica Kill Em All. Now I made the mistake of purchasing this album without fully listening to it. So I listened to a few of the other Metallica albums and I was um, kind of on the fence about whether I really liked the band or not, um, which I know is probably not a popular opinion because I know this band is very popular and has a lot of fans. Um, so I decided to pick up this album that was really, really cheap at my local record store. And I got through about halfway of the album and thought, oh, it's not too bad. Um, I don't absolutely love it, but then I didn't absolutely hate it either. But uh, the last half of this album I just could not stand at all. And um, it's really left me wondering if I will ever get into this band. I'm definitely on the fence um, as to what I think of the other Metallica albums now. I've listened to some of them um, and yeah, I just cannot make my mind up. This album right here has certainly left a pretty sour taste in my mouth towards this band and yeah I'm really on the fence whether I should um, give some of the album give some of the other albums a more solid go or not um, I'm not going to completely rule it out uh, this band because I've done that in the past and my opinions have changed but uh, yeah this album has certainly left me on the fence um, about 
Metallica in general. So, George, I hope that's good enough. Um, I am showing a, a physical edition for that one. But uh, to be more specific on this question, I'm going to throw another band in the works, and that is Judas Priest. Now, this is another band that has a ton of fans in the VC, and um, I've been listening to them on and off uh, quite a bit recently, listening to some of their albums online, and um, there's some albums that I can get into one day, and then I'll go back to it in a couple of days' time, and I'm not feeling it. Um, pretty much the albums that I have listened to, and I keep going back and forth, uh, do I like it, do I not, um, British Steel, uh, Ram It Down, Turbo, and Screaming for Vengeance. Uh, they're the main albums that I've been listening to. And yeah, I don't know, some days I like their albums, I like the tracks, I like the songs, and then other days I just don't know whether I like them or not. Um, the vocals have a big part to play, um, sometimes the vocals just throw me out, I don't know what it is um, about the vocals, but um, yeah, that is the main band that I'm really on the fence about. The albums are pretty cheap, you know, they're cheap, they're easy to get hold of, so maybe I just need to bite the bullet and pick up a couple of albums and uh, sit down and actually listen to them. But um, yeah, Judas Priest is a funny one for me, um, and it's the main band that I'm definitely on the fence about. So uh, yeah, hopefully you're happy with my answer to that question, George. Question three is really, really easy for me. Uh, this took no thought at all. And that is name an album that got you into a specific genre. So we're going to go with the Iron Maiden debut album. This album not only got me into Iron Maiden, but it also got me into metal in general. Iron Maiden as a whole was the very first metal band that I ever listened to. And... Um, yeah, thanks to this album and Iron Maiden in general, I am now a pretty big fan of metal, so yeah, that's the answer to that question. Question four is name an album that you're obsessed with at the moment, and again, this was fairly easy for me. Uh, we're going to go with a Testament album, The Ritual. At the moment, um, this is probably my favourite Testament album, I just think it's an absolutely phenomenal album all round. And I've been listening to this a lot lately. Uh, my favourite song on this album is Electric Crown. That is just absolutely incredible. Um, that is probably my favourite Testament song, at least as of right now. Um, my opinions change all the time with music, but um, yeah, as of right now, um, Electric Crown is pretty much my favorite testament song or the song that i am really really obsessed with i often put this cd in and uh replay electric crown over and over again but yeah this is an amazing album and it's pretty much what i've been obsessed with recently and question five is the first what was the first album you bought online i'm gonna go with ozzy osbourne blizzard of oz um now I actually ordered a bunch of Aussie CDs at the same time and that was my first actual online order in terms of music but I will just show the um, Blizzard of Oz album because it's the first album, it's the debut album so uh, yeah that's that. Uh, great album by the way, I'm a pretty big fan of Aussie in general um, so this was a pretty cool first time online purchase for myself. Alrighty, so that does it for my contest entry for George or Vinyl City. Uh, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video that I will be leaving a link to George's channel. So if for some reason you are not subscribed to him and you're into music, check him out. And once again, George, I do apologize about my um, answer for question two. Um, I hope my entry still counts. I did my best with it, so yeah, hopefully you don't mind, and once again, thank you for being a little bit lenient with me for my answer for that. 
But yeah, um, that pretty much does it for this video. Once again, George, congratulations on 50 subscribers. Certainly well deserved. I hope you've enjoyed my entry, and thank you for watching.